that on. Put that on, which gives us some physical restrictions. No, we can't use the lightsaber, sadly. But at least we have Basilos lightsaber back. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? It's a long story. Well, we don't have time for it now. We have to get out of here before the Sith show up to sort out this mess. Is there somewhere safe we can go? I got somewhere safe to go. I was planning to take you there after I saved you from Bredjik. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Vulcans would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Um, we don't have time for this. Karth is waiting for us. Karth and Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? We're trying to find you, remember? I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Taurus will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I am sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Both of you, settle down. This isn't helping. Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there, we just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Don't worry, I won't let that happen. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something happened, weird happened when we first met. Like a vision. A vision? A vision of what? Of you fighting a dark Jedi. Revan, I guess. This is strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. Force sensitivity? What do you mean? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. This isn't the first time I've had a vision. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Alright. Uh, let's see, is there anything we can do? We can upgrade the lights here, but we don't have what we need for that right now. Can't do anything with that. No. 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 Uh, one thing we can do is equip these people. Magic belt. 
yeah, we'll put that on for now. Give her that. Yeah, we're f well. Her. Okay, I can't use the military suit. Okay. Right. I'm gonna talk to people for a bit. Hey there. What can I do for you? I want to talk to you about your brother. I don't want to talk about Griff and oh. if I'm gonna be any. Oh. Guess she doesn't want to talk. Car should be yes, talk talkable. Is this a good time to ask you some more questions? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Not if you have a problem with it. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. This isn't an interrogation. I never said that. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle of the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. I wasn't in a position to see what was going on, really. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. On the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow. Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a scout. I was recruited into fleet for my skills. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. But uh, what's odd about me being added to, to the crew in, at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. Why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. I'm telling you, Karth, I had nothing to do with the crash. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Are you always this suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Oh, we got yes, some more you insight into Karth right there. We can also talk to Bastila. How can I help? You want to talk to me about something? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. We were looking for you. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. I had a lot of help. Carf, Mission, Salbar. Your modesty is admirable. But though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. I think you're underestimating our non-Jedi. Perhaps, us but non -Jedi. the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... What are you trying to say? I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Interesting. How can I help? So that starts the Bastila side quest. Still have a lot of stuff to do though, so let's get out of here and get to it. I'm gonna go with Bastila and Karth.
guess, yeah. Why not? That's right. Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. Wana Kumbes. Chink Palamul Tong Kimba na Kongkek. Tung Ting Tachun Kun Nek Muli Rabes. Chandras is near that Mandalorian that works for Davik. Takum Justak Miki Gravel Mogo. Kachi Chu Aita Hadonga Tulpata Bonk Molia Gando Danago Chuchut. Moga Shabumpa. Bamulesliqmopoda <laughs> Okay, I got the message. You can go now. Shagji kin lord chawata uma? Kava bulpa mulchi kumana. King kun shachi king. Ni king kun oba muli raji kun. Wama kun bes. Chin palamuji. Tunira nu prata dunko. Sercha doma doma. Alright, so Candras wants to meet with us for some weird reason. So we're gonna have to do that. Huh? Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? I spoke with Holden. I convinced him to remove the bounty on your head. He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. Keep your reward. Helping you was thanks enough. I can never truly repay you for helping me. But you always have my thanks for what you did. Alright, sweet. Tong hai tuam I'm gonna skip over this because this is just our energy shield tutorial. Let's see what he has for sale though. Med packs. Uh, this is not bad armor. I might get that actually. And what is this? I think I'm gonna get that too. And this. Let's see. Seven plus two. Five plus four. Yeah, I'll stick with this. Alright. We need to go to the cantina now. Yeah. Because we also have the side quest there to finish off. Um. Oh, and before I forget, Basila. Uh. Obviously, Basila's a Jedi, so she's gonna be quite useful right now. Sadly, we can't get Force Cure yet, but we're gonna get Versus Speed, which is actually really good. She's gonna have a couple levels here, so. Uh, what else? Yeah, so we have a lot of Force abilities here. I'm gonna go with the buffs because in Jedi get a lot of buffs that they can, that they can put on themselves. So uh, let's get this, and now you can get cure. So yeah, this is gonna be really nice to get past all of this stuff. And then script Jedi droid support. I guess then during combat she'll actually buff. And heal if needed, so. Which is quite good. 
and just... Then yeah, now we have a Jedi on our party. Really? Bastila. Yes. Come on, Bastila. Uh huh. Sure. Ugh. Yeah, that's gonna keep happening, sadly. Alright. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. Who are you? My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. How do you plan to do that? I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Be careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, Arya. I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. What's in this for me? Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. How am I supposed to get inside the Sith military base? Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nal. Just tell her Kandor has sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Won't Davik get mad if I take his droid? Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. Okay, Candrus, you got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Alright, sweet. So now we got our way off the planet, basically. But first, we got some fighting to do. Ready for a duel. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death itself. You know her. You love her. Ice. And in the other corner, a rising star taking that first step into the big leagues. I give you the mysterious stranger. Right. So ice is quite deadly. Luckily, we have grenades. So, gonna run in and hopefully get a hit on her real quick. And there you go. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Ice is knocked out cold. Looks like we have a rising star in the mysterious stranger, folks. But how high can this star soar? You'll just have to watch and see. 